to what I'm about to say. And it's not negative at all. It's a teaching moment. It's a moment for you that you want to make sure in your career, whether it's a college player or you're fortunate enough to play in the big leagues, that this doesn't happen to you. We had an incident last night with a great college football player. Point. You guys watch it. Every Saturday. Great football player. When I hear a good kid. Great football player. When I hear a good kid. But he did something last night that brought shame to his university, to his parents, and the people that play football. Don't you be that guy. Don't be that guy. Because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They're going to play the football game without it. They're not canceling the game. They're going to play it without it. So don't think you're not replaceable. Because you are. And when you do stuff like that, you shouldn't play. I told you in the first meeting, the game of football is bigger than any coach, any player. And when you do what he did last night, he shouldn't play. And it's an embarrassment. He's playing in a bowl game. And he put his whole team in jeopardy. When you do stuff like that, you let your teammates down. You let your parents down. You let the university you're about to go to, you let them down. You don't be that guy. Because when I'm sitting up there in Bristol, Connecticut, and I see your name come across that wire, shame on me. Because I didn't tell you. That name in the back of the jersey belongs to your parents. And you don't screw it up. It don't belong to you. And football belongs to the university. And don't you screw that up. You got my meaning, man. You got my meaning. Now let's go to work. That is our own Herm Edwards, just hours after news broke of TCU quarterback Trevon Boykin's arrest. He was addressing players before practice for the Under Armour All-America game. is down in Orlando, and that is where we find ESPN National Recruiting Director Tom Luganville here on SportsCenter. Tom, you're around these players. What was their reaction to what Herm had to say? Well, I hopefully it was impactful, uh, Randy. This is something that was impromptu, but it's something that needs to be hammered home because in my 10 years of evaluating high school personnel, I don't know if I've ever seen one time a player with great talent not pan out because of the talent. It's always something else. It's always something, some other variable. And so when you make choices, you got to understand and have the forethought to look big enough and far enough in front of you to realize what those consequences may, been, may be. And that's the value of having guys like Steve Mariucci, Herm Edwards, and the NFL staff we have in place here to impart that wisdom on these guys. Unfortunately, a college football example manifested itself while we were down here, and it ended up being a great lesson for these young men. That's just it. I mean, you and I saw each other New Year's Eve in Atlanta, and we knew how big this story was going to be. We didn't know what Herm was going to have to say and leave it to him to put it into perspective. I asked for the game itself, eighth annual Under Armour All-America game. How has this game evolved through the years, Tom? Well, we've just gotten better and better each year with impactful talent. I mean, if you just go back and look at the last couple of days with the New Year's Six Bowl games, look at what Calvin Ridley has done with the University of Alabama as a true freshman. He was on this field a year ago playing in this game. Look at Christian Wilkins, the defensive tackle for Clemson. He goes and catches that punt, the fake punt against Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl, makes a huge play and has been an impactful player as a true freshman for Clemson. So we're seeing this all across the landscape of college football. Tremendous talent finding a place as a freshman, coming right onto the field. So if you're watching today, you're going to see college football's best and brightest in the next year or two, and they're already making a huge impact. And the impact is not only felt uh, on Saturdays, it's also on Sundays. This game, Tom, has produced 94 players drafted into the NFL through its eight-year history. So who are some guys we should keep an eye on today? 